Alkyl halides are not found in living systems and are instead products of a chemistry lab. Trichloromethane, or chloroform, was once used as an anesthetic until it was found to cause cancer. CFCs were once used as propellants in spray cans until it was realized they were destroying Earth's ozone layer. All are alkyl halides. A halide is a compound containing an ion of a halogen, and a halogen is an element from group 17 on your periodic table. The physical property of alkyl halides are very similar to the corresponding alcohol. When naming alkyl halides, the suffix is the same as the alkane. As before, to name an alkyl halide, we name the longest alkane chain containing the halogen atom or atoms. Carbon numbering begins nearest the halogen atom. As before, cyclic hydrocarbons have carbon number 1 bonded to the functional group. And for multiple halogens, the other carbons are numbered so that the lowest numbers appear in the name. Use the short form of the group 17 elements to name which halogen or halogens are in the compounds, like chloro, fluoro, bromo, and iodo. Don't worry about compounds containing astatine. It's less reactive than iodine, extremely radioactive, and a very rare element found only in microscopic amounts in some compounds. It'll never come up in any Chemistry 30 exams. Use di, tri, tetra, etc. prefixes for multiple halogens that are the same, but if they're different, list the halogens alphabetically, although the di, tri, tetra, etc. is not considered when alphabetizing. Here we have a pentane chain with a methyl group, a bromine, and two fluorines. Bromines are listed alphabetically first, then the fluorines, and finally the methyl group. Carbon 1 is the one on the end closest to the first halogen, in this case the far right. So we have 3 bromo, 2 2 difluoro, 4 methyl pentane. A carboxylic acid is a compound containing a carboxyl group, which is a carbon attached to two oxygens and a hydrogen. It's called carboxylic acid because the carboxyl group in small chain hydrocarbons partially ionizes in water, producing hydrogen ions and thereby having the same qualitative properties as weak acids. The carbon in a carboxyl group is double bonded to one of the oxygens and singly bonded to the other. A hydrogen atom is bonded to the other side of that oxygen. Since the carbon is part of the functional group, it is always at the end of a chain and always assigned carbon number one. Methanoic acid is the simplest carboxylic acid. It is the venom of bee and ant stings. In fact, the word formic, from its common name formic acid, is derived from the Latin word formica, meaning ant. Methanoic acid can be produced commercially as a preservative and as an antibacterial agent in livestock feed. A dilute solution of ethanoic acid is vinegar. Naming is very basic. Name the longest chain containing the acid. Carbon number one is the carbon of the carboxyl group. The E at the end of the parent alkane is dropped and replaced with oic acid. Other side chains are named as before. The physical properties of carboxylic acids are based around its very polar functional group. This polarity enables hydrogen bonding between other molecules, giving them a higher boiling point than that of alcohols with the same number of carbons. Short chain acids are liquid at room temperature and are miscible with water. But the longer chain carboxylic acids are waxy solids. And like the longer chain alcohols, they are far less water soluble. The carboxyl group is on the right side, followed by an ethyl group and two methyl groups. Let's name this molecule. The 6-carbon aliphatic makes this a hexane, with the ethyl group at the second carbon and the methyl groups at carbons 4 and 5. 
we have 2-ethyl-4,5-dimethyl hexanoic acid. The last of the hydrocarbon derivatives we're going to deal with are the esters, responsible for the fruity odors in this basket of raspberries. The first R represents a hydrocarbon, or even just a hydrogen. The R prime, the second R, represents a hydrocarbon too, but cannot be just a hydrogen. Why? Because then it would be a carboxyl group. Esters are products of the combination of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol. To name an ester, identify the part of the ester with the carbon double bonded to the oxygen, the part of the ester in red here. This is the part of the ester that came from the acid. The root name of the ester is based on the name of the acid. Determine the name of the parent acid. Remove the oic acid from the name and replace it with oate. To form the prefix, consider the alkyl group that is part of the alcohol. Shown in blue here, ignoring the oxygen, identify the name of the alkyl group. This will be the prefix for the name of the ester. There is always a space between the name of the alkyl group and the root. Let's name this. The acid part of the compound is methanoic acid. So we drop the oic acid and add O8, so we get methanoate. The prefix is the alkyl group on the other side. And we see that it's a propyl group. So we have propyl methanoate. As a reminder, you'll be tested on one functional group at a time, and multiple bonds are considered functional groups. You might very well get compounds with multiple alcohols or multiple halogens. Hydrocarbons bearing different combinations of functional groups is beyond the scope of this course. As for the properties of esters, the carbon double bonded to the oxygen makes esters somewhat polar, but hydrogen bonds can't form between that and the oxygen atom of another ester. So the boiling points are lower than the alcohols and carboxylic acids of the same number of carbons. But again, the smaller esters are liquids and the larger ones are waxy solids. The most notable characteristic of esters is their volatility, which allows them to generate aromas.